Good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Viore. I'm here with the curmudgeon uh, in the, well, one of the cities in our world. Uh, and there's, there's this very striking building, uh, three-story building with rather uh, prominent-looking colored awnings. We're thinking we might like to take a look inside and see uh, what's there. Is this an apartment complex, or what sort of yeah, building is it? Texera, Texera Apartments or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, we thought. Well, let's go look. We're still we're still trying to explore. Now, uh, your little button thing, Majiggy. Um, Let's see. This is part of the PEP collection, and I think we've seen a creator named Top Minder before. You say Top Minder? Oh. Top Minder, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the same guy who designed our uh, base we're in, too. Uh, this is interesting. It's like a large kitchen and dining area. So I wouldn't think this is an apartment building. It's maybe more of a... Hmm. This kind of makes you think of a hotel where you come down and get breakfast in the morning, you know? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's possible. Nice fire. But are there individual rooms on yeah. the upper floor? Or? Yeah, let's go look. What's the worst that's going to happen, right? Sure, okay. Well, now, this is weird. These coffee tables are floating above me. This floor is missing, and there's Is coffee. it glass? Maybe well, it's know, glass. Maybe it's glass. Okay, let's go find out. No, there's, yeah, there's facilities on the first floor, but they're not separated into rooms. My there's God, like it a is long, glass. That's crazy. A laundry, well, that could make it uh, challenging if you're going to <laughs> zombies, wow, and you're standing on glass. Like okay, that. so again, there's, it's not divided into rooms as such, but there's recreational facilities here, and, uh... Oh, wow, did you shoot uh, some glass out? So there's, some, so there's some missing by the coffee tables. Watch out. All right. No, I didn't intend to. Not in that, oh, in that area. Whoa. I was just getting ready to say, you know, if you, um... Must be dog. <laughs> Well, if you, um... What is this here? It's a... I don't know what to think of this. Is this like a, a barbecue, um, you know, smoker or something over here with these flaming barrels? Oh, look, there's barbed wire around the toilet and a cop was guarding the toilet. <laughs> I'm like, you know, uh -huh. I'm beginning to wonder now what the hell is going on. There's barbed wire on the floor. I've been walking into barbed wire on the floor. Mm -hmm. I know I, I keep trying to say this would be a bitch if you shot the floor out and you got all the way to the top up here. Exactly. I don't know what that is. It's, uh, it's a interesting, striking building, but it, it doesn't seem to communicate its purpose very well to me, which is, you know, something that I tend to look for. Um, nefarious, that's the word we're looking for. It makes me think it's nefarious. Yeah. There's a caged area over here. Yeah. Uh, with barbed wire, but a bed, nightstand, two nightstands. Um, oh, some glass just fell down somewhere. Well, I was trying to break out some of this uh, barbed wire so I could go check out. There's a gun safe over there. Yeah, there's a there's a um, arrow yeah, pointing that through. direction. I wonder why it's pointing that direction. Huh? Well, I don't know. For apartments, this is an odd. I mean, I like it. I love the use of glass in the flooring. That's kind of cool. Did we see a basement anywhere? Did we? We didn't go around the outside, did we? No. Well, 
I guess we're going to say we're done with this one. What do you think? I bet you have to go to the roof, but I don't see a way to get up there. I don't, I don't see an obvious way to get to the roof. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if this is more just a demonstration of uh, the developer's um, techniques and ideas rather than an, an attempt to actually construct something that's meaningful. I don't know. But I like it. Well, do you? Let's see if we can find another one. Friends, we'll be back in just a few minutes here, so hang in there. All right, friends, we are back. We found this interesting-looking complex here, and what is this? Is a small concrete factory, and I see somebody back there in the back. Nope, that's a flowing bush. Never mind. Well, should we go check it out? All right, sure. I'll check this door. It's locked also. Uh, this is uh, this POI is also associated with the name Zincosa. There's a whole bunch of gasoline underneath you. All right, underneath me. Yeah, move. Come here. Come here, quick, quick. I can't blow it up. I was afraid the zombies were going to set it off on you. Actually, it's not gasoline, it's pipes. It's like oh, capped man. off pipes. Uh, that's mm -hmm. depressing. I really want to be this morning. I hear a dog. Dogs. But these are obviously like, well, the storage for sand, soil. Piles of uh, the components of concrete. Yeah. Big racks of concrete stored here, of finished concrete bags, pallets. Makes sense. Yeah. A couple dog houses, ladders going up that I can't see. No, not, that's not a ladder, that's piping. Uh, this uh, kind of octagonal building, or well, rounded corner building, doesn't have a means of entry without breaking and entering, which I'm prepared to do. Yeah, me too. Um, another locked door here inside. And zombie too. Some lighting things up. And a snake in the bathroom. Must have come out of the toilet. Well, I found a shower area. And toilet. Had a bunch There's of workers. There's an upper floor. Uh-huh. Oh, this is the uh, thing on the other side of those big double doors. This is nice, though. I like how they made this. This is really cool. There's an office on the second floor here. Um, and some loot. Including a uh, gun safe. I found the break room. Yeah? This is pretty nice. It doesn't have to be a 10,000 square foot or 100,000 square foot POI for me. I I enjoy some that are made like this, you know. I agree. Yeah. I appreciate the ones that communicate their purpose and have some degree of, uh, you know. Believability. Yep, yep, I agree. Except for the pipes that should have been gas cans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I guess we're done here now. There's a little building. Is this that uh, quick shop that's right over here? 
Yeah, this is the I'm mini Shamway, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then here's something else I've never seen. Oh, yeah, we've, uh, we've toured these before. Yeah. Damn, talk about a bullet sponge. Yeah, this is the one we tore down in our old base series. Let's look at this one right here, and then we'll call this one a video. What do you think? All right. Burnt oh, Residence goodness. Number Three. That place looks like it would collapse with just a minor jostling. Good dude. All right. Of course, there are vultures. Yeah, vultures like like uh, burnt buildings. Makes sense to me. I always, I always marvel at the um, the people who have the creative vision to make a destroyed building. Though I, I don't know if mm -hmm. I can be this creative. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Is there sorry, a basement friend. here? It well, looks like, looks like right here. Yeah. Yeah, they were down here lifting the weights. Aha! Of course. Gotta keep it in shape for the apocalypse. Yeah, I like this one. This is nice. Actually, that concrete place is pretty good, too. Yeah. I like that one, too. Well, all right, Doc. I guess. What do you say we tell them goodbye and we'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us. All right, my friends. Take care. Be safe out there. Bye-bye. <laughs>